ghosts on scene. There's definitely smoke, but no visible signs of fire. Looks more like signal flares. Gonna say this is probably a false alarm or a prank. Copy that. You're clear to proceed. Ah, I told you this was a prank. I don't see any fire. <sighs> who in their right mind finds this kind of thing funny? People who enjoy causing a commotion. Huh. Hey, check it out. What the hell? Hmm. Oh, shit. Ugh. Can't we just report this one in and go? Come on, man. You know we can't just leave this be. In Japan, 99.9% .9 of criminal trials end with a guilty verdict. That makes the odds for a defense lawyer to get an acquittal about 10,000 to 1. But I beat those odds on a murder case. It's a hell of an achievement. Unfortunately, it came with a price. The death of an innocent woman. The shadows of truth escape the courtroom, and when they do, Someone has to drag them back into the light. The reality is, the law is neither as perfect or as fair as it's supposed to be. So I've made it my job to give those without a voice a chance to be heard. you hit me with some trivia then that would pass the time oh, I mean, come on man you never know how long a stakeout's gonna last even keiko chan's losing her mind i'm sure she is give me a sec to come up with a zinger okay okay sure you think up a tough question and i just leave you to your thoughts wait a damn minute how does that even solve this problem then, man? Um, Kaito-san? I don't think I'm really in the mood for trivia at the moment. Okay, fine. We gotta spice this up somehow. So, Keiko-chan, this internet boy, how'd you end up on the raw end of a scam like this? How is this spicing things up? Besides, we don't even know for sure if it was a scam yet, right? Exactly. Kaito-san here is just jumping to conclusions. It'll be fine, Keiko-san. Don't worry. At Yagami Detective Agency, we make sure our clients' hearts are at the heart of our business. <sighs> That's so great to hear. I know I hired just the right people. Damn straight. Sunshine and rainbows with us. Kosuke-kun did say he always eats fast food for lunch. Yeah, but after 20 minutes, you'd think he'd be done by now. I don't know. He always makes me worry, even his eating habits. Say, Keiko-chan, how'd a sweet girl like you get roped in by some dude off the net, huh? I wouldn't call it that at all. Would you believe me if I said we took it slow at first? say his patience paid off maybe it's hard for you to see but he is a caring guy so he drags you to the shadiest dive in Kamurocho and calls it a date <laughs> sounds like a real catch 
He was just trying to impress me. He, he couldn't have known what would happen. Then he sticks his own girl with a bill? Dickhead doesn't begin to describe it. I mean, he is still in college. And besides, he said if we didn't pay, they'd call the Yakuza to collect. So they bled you out of 800 grand, with 400 still to go, for a total of 1.2 mil. It'd be practically impossible to pay all that in one lump sum. Exactly. That's where Kosuke Kun's idea came in. He said I could make some easy money working one of those clubs. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Did he say anything about working with those Yakuza from the start? Guy meets girl, they go out, he racks up a tab. Next thing you know, she's on the market to pay it off. Same shit, different day in this town. Now you're just jumping to conclusions. Besides, a business taking advantage of people like that would have gotten shut down in no time, right? <sighs> Afraid not. Some lines the law just can't cross until it's too late. But I do owe you some credit for turning to a man like Genda Sensei. He's been defending this city a long time now, and his team's rock solid. Yeah, and when things get too dirty for them, Genda calls in guys like us to clean it up. Good for you, I guess. Listen, Keiko-chan. I hate to be so blunt, but Kosuke's totally been gaming you from the get-go. Until you see that for yourself, there's not much we can do for you. Ain't that right, Tuck? Well, let's not jump the gun, Kaito-san. We don't have proof of anything yet. Speaking of which, there's our man of the hour. <gasps> Kosuke-kun! We're gonna need to follow him. You two stay here. Hopefully we'll get this all cleared up. <laughs> About time we saw some action. Careful out there, Tuck. Hey, Tuck, you read me? You gonna be okay tailing this guy? Or do you need the detective basics manual? Kaito-san, please. I could tail him in my sleep. <laughs> the manual says to keep your eyes open, actually. All right, let's go. And they have to start you off with like one of the most annoying things in the first game. Deflect your target's attention by pressing and holding triangle to act casual. Where you'll do things like fiddle with your phone or check your appearance in a mirror. You know, stuff tails don't do. Whoa. Oh crap, I don't have it. Must be my imagination. So they've added a new little wrinkle you don't gotta hide anymore you just kind of uh, push triangle Kaito-san, you made contact with a new face. I'm gonna get a shot as evidence. Good call. <laughs> Your goal is to capture an investigation's decisive moment on camera. Each mission has a list of conditions that must be checked off to succeed. Your photo must satisfy all the good conditions or your mission will fail. If your photo satisfies the excellent condition, you'll be rewarded with SP. Great. When getting a perfect shot sounds like too tall an order, press triangle to use focus time. By concentrating all your efforts on camera work, everything will seem... Wow, we have a slow motion camera shot. Square to ready the camera. Okay. Okay, 
okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh max zoom, okay. So I gotta get, get them both when they're smiling. Now. All right, got the photo. This is gameplay, people. Touch. Man, I haven't seen you in forever, Sakura Chai. It's because you barely show up to the club events, Kosuke Senpai. I probably wouldn't have seen you today either if I hadn't mistaken someone else for you. Sorry, I've just been so busy. I know, I've got to make time for the club. I know you've got a busy schedule, but it's not the same without you, Senpai. A lot of girls quit because you stopped showing up, you know. Oh, damn, that sucks. Uh, guess I'd better make some effort, huh? Yeah, that'd be great. But Senpai, while we're on the subject... Yeah? I hope you won't do anything that'll get those girls' hopes up either. I don't know if you know this, but the girls had a few big fights, actually. All that anger could boil over in your direction at any time is all I'm saying. Yeah, wouldn't want that. I'll be careful. Well, I've got to get going to my next thing. Okay, make sure you stop by the club, huh? Hell no. You know, I'm not the most alert person on the planet, but I feel like I would notice this person the second time. I think I liked the one where you had to just oh, fuck. It still has that Assassin's Creed, I've gotta climb everything thing going on. Oh, see these guys right here. Here here goes your fighting tutorial right here. Detective who reported Anaki's affair to his old lady. Yeah, fuck that guy. Anaki got so pissed he took it out on us. Still fucking sore about it. Yo, Yagami! Just your luck to be passing by us today. You're a dead man, bro. Man, this neighborhood never changes, does it? Street punks. Oh my god. Crane is highly evasive style centered around crowd control and mobility. Wider reach. Successive dodges. Great. Okay. I gotta do all of this stuff? Okay. Come on.
This is just like the first one where it took so long to do these because they don't they're not very aggressive. I gotta do oh yeah. See this this lady in the background, she's growing old just watching this fight. I gotta kind of run into him. There you go. What else do I gotta do? Okay, okay, wait. First of all, first of all, that was a lot longer than that. Oh, yeah, I need to get more cash. I guess I'll stop by the Popo. I should get a picture of how much he withdraws as evidence. Oh, oh, wait, wait, slow down, bro. Slow down. I'm tailing you. I can't tell you if you're running. Okay, I'm losing him. So I'm casually... See, like, how oblivious is this guy? <laughs> Max zoom includes his face. Wait, Max. Oh. oh. Interface is kind of clunky for doing this. It's like, who's not going to notice some guy taking my picture while I'm at an right. ATM? Give me your status. What's Kosuke up to? Not a whole lot right now. He's just wandering around town. Pretty much killing time like your average college student. Any idea where he's headed? Good question. Actually, he just ducked into a building. I'm going after him. Hey, buddy. You new here? You can't just go waltzing in. And why not? Because I said so. That's why. Now beat it. Fifth floor. Hey, didn't I tell you to leave? Don't make me call the cops on your ass. Isn't that a little excessive? All I wanted was to look around. Well, there's nothing to see here, so go look somewhere else.
There's definitely more to this place than meets the eye. Gotta look for a way to sneak inside the building. Move a cursor over a suspicious area and hold R2 to look at it more closely. When an examine icon appears, investigate that spot by pressing X. Okay. This window looks like it's practically never open, almost as if they're avoiding the outside world. Hey, no way that's gonna work. What are you talking about? You climb these. You can walk around. I want to go right here. I can already see what to do. Come on, this is a video game. Suspicious. Look for a foothold. You mean right here? I like how I made all this effort to find a good foothold so that the two the school kids or whoever those were that just walked by wouldn't see me. That was very important. Sometimes you'll need to make your way your own way to reach your destination. This is where parkour comes in handy. So check your surroundings for a foothold. And then it's Assassin's Creed. About the grip gauge. It's now Breath of the Wild. How many games can we ape in the first five minutes? If the grip grade runs out during a climb, you'll fall and retry from that point. Hold circle to move vertically and let, okay. I like how they're just random mysterious seeds. Oh shit, I'm losing. Bad camera, bad camera. Yo, talk. You hanging in there, buddy? Ha ha ha, you said you funnies. Hit a wall here. What's that supposed to mean? You didn't lose the guy, did you? Look, my hands are tied right now. now everything's under control. Oh no, am I supposed to. Find cats again. <laughs> sneak into building. I don't know how I got 500 yen for sneaking into a building, but okay. Two more to go. Oh, uh, hey guys. Didn't mean to interrupt. Hey. Who's this clown? First time I've ever seen him. Oh, you see, I'm uh, Kosuke's guest. Guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who the hell's Kosuke? Ah, that's the kid who keeps hanging around. You'd think he'd have wised up by now. Wait, then he'd be on the fifth floor. So what are you doing down here? Seriously, it's like he got me lost on purpose. You mind uh, pointing me in the right direction? Take the stairs to the fifth floor, then head all the way back. Your friend will be in the tatami room. The tatami room? Oh, of course. <laughs> Should have known this wasn't it. Before you go, I'm gonna need to verify your membership. Kosuke give you a card? Uh, should have? Shoot, I can't seem to find it. <laughs> Not so. Well, now we got a problem. Sorry. I'll be more careful next time, promise. There won't be a next time, dumbass! We don't carry cards here! Now who the hell are you, and how'd you get in? 
better start talking. Ugh, here we go. Tell me, what's Kosuke doing in the tatami room? We're not telling you shit. More street punks. Fighting street punks. Oh, when to use Tiger. Tiger is a balanced style with a variety of offensive, defensive, and evasive maneuvers designed for single enemy fights. Even though it's not single enemy, it's two enemies. But we're going to pretend for this tutorial that there's only one. The X actions are stylish. Oh, yeah. That's a I gotta grab a weapon, attack with it five times. Okay. Then I gotta grab an enemy. Wait, 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 gotta bust this guy. I'm trying to do the tutorial, guys. Can can we work together here? Okay. Come on, oh, one more. Come on. Yeah, that was done. Okay, what else do I got to do? Attack with this and then... I especially like the dramatic destruction of bookshelves. Oh, look at that move. Look at that move. This is a breakdancing game, too. Ah, you good? What's going on? I'm still in that building with Kosuke-kun. Had a little run-in with some watchdogs. And apparently, Kosuke's no stranger. Right now, he's in their tatami room. Oh, he is, huh? What do you think he's up to? Well, a betting man would say he's gambling. If it's a members-only building with goons posted on every corner, I'm telling you now. The tatami room ain't no tea shop. Huh. Not a bad theory at all. It's like you're speaking from experience, Kaito-san. <laughs> You've got questions? I've got answers. I said we have an intruder! I don't know how he got in! Say what? <laughs> what happened? You there? Tell me something, Tak. Why is a college kid hanging out with a bunch of gambling lowlifes? We're seeing this kid's true colors now, if you ask me. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt until we catch him red-handed. Innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> Is that some lawyer creeping back into your detective work? Well, whatever. Just don't get yourself caught, unless you want a fight on your hands. Believe me, I don't. Reach your desired destination without being caught. Better be careful here. Oh, ooh, is this his sneaking? Is this the sneaking position? Look at me, I'm sneaking. When I can obviously beat the shit out of everybody in here, we're gonna sneak. Gotta do something or I'm busted. Why don't you just punch him? How about that for a solution? Taking cover, okay. Ooh. It's like a raider's cap, but not quite. He's got a bubble coat, so he's got to be serious. When taking cover, move the cursor over something or someone with a magnifying glass icon, then press triangle to take a closer look and gather the info you need. Yo, got a minute? I heard we got an intruder in here. Let the others know for me. Yeah, okay. Is that part of the gang motif? You gotta have bubble coats. If they see you, they'll call for backup. Better reach the fifth floor as quietly as possible. Okay, makes sense. What's up with this guy? Is he napping? I want to point out this guy is a detective. He's he's figuring this out. Mhm. Mm
Ooh, a paper plate. I can beat his ass with a paper plate. His legs would be getting tired by now. Of course, I'll have to pick it. See, we have to learn every possible thing I could learn. Okay. While taking cover, you can move the cursor over the coin icon and toss a coin by pressing R2. This will draw any nearby enemies toward the sound it makes. Never once will the enemy wonder, who the hell threw the coin? They're going to be more focused on the coin itself. So as long as you haven't been spotted, you can sneak up on an enemy from behind and press triangle to take them out. This is ridiculous. So go to sleep. Go to sleep. Take a nap, bud. Do I can I do, do I just have to give up my coin? Can't go pick it back up. A dirty cloth. the door on me. Come on, I had you! Ah, why does this always happen? Come on, folks, who wants another round? Everyone place their bets? Now or never! You know you're on a losing streak, Kosuke. Why not be a good little boy and go home? Are you kidding? I was just getting warmed up. Huh? Didn't know you were such a high roller. Where are you, uh, getting all that cash from, anyway? <laughs> Can't say too much about it, but I got me a pretty good hustle. <laughs> Another girl with stars in her eyes, huh? Jeez, go ahead and tell the whole room. Hey, keep any of the secrets on you. All right, Kaito-san, you called it. Kosuke-kun just blew all his earnings on Chohan. <laughs> Told ya. So, what do you say we do? 
As I say, we cut to the chase and have us a little one on one. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Good. I'll bring the car around. College boys about to learn something they don't teach in class. I like how we just disregarded how we got back out of the building. <laughs> hey, man, hold up a sec. I think you dropped something. Huh? I've got my phone on me. What'd I lose? Well, it could be any number of things, to tell you the truth. Maybe your conscience, or even your integrity. You feel like you might have left those somewhere. Huh? What's your freaking problem? Does scamming a young lady ring any bells for you? You've been working with a crooked bar to make her foot a 1.2 million yen bill. What in the hell are you even talking about, dude? Have you conned so many girls you can't even keep the scam straight anymore? You better back off me. I've got the full support of the Tojo clan on this thing, man. Still think it's wise to talk shit? The Tojo clan? You mean the Yakuza? <laughs> Pissing yourself yet? You're about to be real sorry, asshole! <laughs> The Tojo clan thugs got disbanded ages ago. If name dropping a long dead gang was supposed to scare me, I'm not very impressed. Son of a... Let's fucking go! I wouldn't do that if I were you. That excuse for a punch told me all I need to know. Fuck you, man! That last one was just a warning shot! No more chances! The gloves are coming off right now, bro, and you're gonna get fucked up! I hear you, kid. So... I can take the gloves off too, right? The fuck? You for real right now? Well, I pump iron at the gym once a week, my man. You're going down. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshiro-san, over here! Please, you gotta help me! Kosuke, what happened? This guy giving you trouble? Yeah, he just started wailing on me all of a sudden! He did? Well, what's your problem? This gentleman you're harassing is my client. Client? Got a tatami room term for gambling addict? <laughs> Gamble? Who told you about the tatami room? People only get in through me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Look, I don't have time to play around right now. Too late, asshole. You just signed up for a beating! Uh oh. There's a special move that solely consumes the X gauge in order to strengthen Yagami beyond his limits. To activate EX boost, press R2. When you have at least one segment charged, press R2 to deactivate. supposed to happen now you're really asking for it and now i got a tail we are using every single thing that we did in the first one in like the first hour you won't get away
correctly. Enter button prompts to evade obstacles and recover a bit of health. Pick up recovery items on the road to recover a lot of health. Open the pause menu to use one of your recovery items. Oh, shoot. Like, why did I even need to go up the wall? It seems a bit extreme. Just saying, which way am I going? This one doesn't autopilot quite as much as the first one did, though. During a chase, you may have to choose which path at the moment's notice. Oh God! When the target's health gets slow, they'll stop running due to fatigue. To end the chase, get near them and press circle to catch them at last. Are you done? <laughs> you can't help yourself, can you, Tom? For being a lawyer, you sure like to settle things with your fists. <laughs> a lawyer? How the fuck are you a lawyer? Yagami-san, you're not really a detective? I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge... I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. Is it safe to assume, then, you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that, Kosuke-kun? <laughs> huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Yeah, care to go for a ride? <laughs> We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. Whoa, time out! Guys, this isn't funny! These damn things off me! I swear this is all a mistake! Kosuke-kun... Uh, Yuko-chan! Don't let these assholes con you! Believe me! I didn't do anything wrong! Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko-chan? Uh, well... My name is Keiko, you jerk! And you think I trusted you? Here's the deal, Kosuke-kun. First, you're gonna cancel her debt to that bar. But that's not even my call! And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. You're out of your freaking mind! Do you even know who you're... I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, Todd. Hey! That's my phone! Dial up that bar for me, would you? What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have any proof. Proof? Do we need to spell it out for you? We've got you by the balls for this shit. Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamarocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. You mean, you're detectives? It's an name, smart guy, huh? Everyone in town knows us. They do? You're goddamn right they do. Don't talk like you never heard of us. Give the guy a break, Kaito-san. We're still getting our name out there. There... Uh, no. Oh. Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up. That money's as good as gone. 
The guy who runs that bar is ex Tojo clan. I was lying when I said he's Yakuza. Yeah? Well, I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex Yakuza strutting around, flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Yeah, got this under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number is the bar keeps? You really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or would you rather try your luck? <sighs> Yo, what's up, Kosuke? Hey, uh, Chief. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be back at the shop, would you? Yeah, I am. Why? Up a new chick, huh? Oh, you just keep reeling them in, don't you? <laughs> Not exactly. No? Well, hey, at least you still got Keiko unlocked. Yeah, these broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. Bastard. Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings you the money? Oh, <laughs> that's simple. First, we take the cash off her hands. Then we slap on a last minute late fee and send her sobbing all the way to the soap lab. <laughs> right, sounds like you got it all figured out. Wait, why'd your voice change all of a sudden? <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up, who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice. Because I'm about to come knocking. And this time, you'll be the one paying the price. Holy shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but now I've seen... Uh, the light. <laughs> no! That's enough out of you. Come on, let's get you back to Gendas before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're going to do to that place anyway. <laughs> it's going to get ugly. You mean you're going to take them on alone? <laughs> That's always how it goes down around here for some reason. Let's go, Kiko-san. Gendas Sensei's office is just up ahead. Downloadable content is now available. Wow, I got a hundred points just for walking this like three Genda feet. Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, is like a father to me. He's been a well-respected figure in Kamrajo for years. Genda Sensei. Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. It's good to see you. Ah, oh, I believe we met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway.
Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Sauri Kun and Hoshino Kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Oh, you mean. It's a groping case? She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like, that'll do him any good. Do you mind sitting up straight in court, please? <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. an impression. <laughs> well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical, either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty is charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise. Well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Sauri Kuhn at the bench, but... Hoshino Kun insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Saori Kun's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean, he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the force anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it, in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Kamuro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kun, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. 
but let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. stuff I gotta do. Great! City missions. Okay. Skills. How many points do I have? 1,400 points. Where's the abilities one? Or the specials. Eaters. Blame shifter. You can still patronize a shop app even after wrecking it in a fight. Bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. You won't be able to save after this point. Saving now is highly recommended. Give me just a sec, actually. Huh? If you say so. to work. That's what I'm talking about. Well, this the dump you brought Keiko-chan to? It is! So could you please just let me go? Not a chance. You get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. What are you, crazy? He'd murder me on the spot! Then he'd murder you two for dessert! Huh. He's that scary, huh? Yes, actually. Not to mention all his boys. All the more reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. Oh, hold on. Sugiura. Really? Could he choose a worse fucking time? Kill. Hey there, you miss me? Jeez, it's been what, half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. Well, I've got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo kun and I have our very own detective agency. Wait, are you saying you started a detective agency? Meaning, now you're a detective? Yep, got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. I didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man, I don't know what to say. Oh, and by Stukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought attacking might give us an edge. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You want to wrap this up, Talk? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the bros, so they can show us how it's done. Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. You all 
All set? <laughs> then let's roll. I like how we've, we've, we were trying to introduce or reintroduce all the characters from the first game. Kosuke, care to explain what the fuck's going on? It's uh, not what you think. We're here on account of a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There, you see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugane uh, myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape and just as dumb. Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him that forks over the family safe. Yeah. yeah, you're a real legend. Don't talk like you were there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here. Come on, man. Don't give him what he wants. Fuckhead. Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. And guess what I spent the cash on? The walls. Yeah, this is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside, stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. You hear that, Kaito-san? He says we're free to cut loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of... Hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. Greetings, Yagami-si. Did Sugiyoroshi call you a second ago? He did, but... Look, Sukumoto now's really not a good time. Oh, so you really are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I hate to think he upset you, you know? But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apologies. Yep, no offense taken, man. <laughs> but you see my point, right? Sugiura, she and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. Any responsible member of a company, I mean, any responsible member of society, it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? Should I call you back? If you have an estimate, I can set a timer. That way I'll know when it's convenient. Right, uh, where do we leave off? You gotta be shitting me! Yeah, pretty lame talk. That's it. You jokers are dead meat! Shady bar owner. Yeah, okay, me. Yeah. I don't have enough points to enhance my skills, so we're just gonna have to do this normal. Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. 
And I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I've sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, Kicker Chomp. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito san. Apparently, that's a thing now. You see. If you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. Hear you loud and clear. Sari san and Hoshino can sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. All rise. Ooh, a trophy. The game is afoot. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. Hmm? You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? What the hell? What is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times, but he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense? 
Do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, Your Honor, we, uh, well... How's that for an honest day's work? I just want to go put my feet up in the office. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiro, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Tsukumo? They're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> good one, Todd. <laughs> Wait, you serious? This game's absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down. Gangsters don't ask questions. When walking around town, you may notice certain unsavory characters with red or purple icons above their head. Get too close, and they'll initiate a fight without warning. Although you can run away in most cases, taking them down will net you precious SP and possibly even an item. Sometimes you'll encounter an unusually powerful enemy, like the champion street punk. <laughs> These are denoted with purple icons. And in battle, their health bar will appear at the bottom of the screen. It'll be much larger than a regular. It's like a fucking boss fight. Battle rewards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be filling out that list. Don't you worry. Let's hit it. Return. To, where the heck is my office at? I don't remember. Where am I going? I don't even remember. It's been so long. Where's the thing? Oh, there it is. Way down there. Okay. We're going to bust the right up here. Do a little running. Go this way. Uh-oh. Look at these. See, these guys want to start some static. Really, guys? never know when you might need some quality wire. Oh, I forget. What are the green things? It's been a while. Oh, yeah. This is... Don't we got to make friends? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you got to make friends with everybody. Okay, let's make some friends. To the roof. I wonder if it's the same people we have to make friends with. I don't see nobody. I think I was bamboozled. This looks familiar. I sort of remember some of this stuff. Like some of this stuff is really tricky to figure out where that person is because sometimes they're inside here. See? Where's that one at? One of them is in here, I bet. Yeah, eating or drinking will restores your health and all kinds of good stuff. And then you can get a lucky effect and then you can get drunk. What's the screw? Find materials. You know, I'm feeling like when I eat the special pancakes, I don't want to find materials in it. Starving. I'm starting to feel it. Pretty tasty. Thanks. Just, just gonna. I mean, I, I understand what it is. Basically, you can find more materials after you eat it, but the way they word it makes. Oh, oh shit. Well. Wow. A pachinko ball. Oh. 
What a waste. I'm not sure how much time that really is. What is it? It's a little timer. I wonder if the busy work is going to be drones again. Clean electrical wire. A pebble. Another pebble. Oh, wait. So you can get sidetracked just picking up electrical wire. So I apparently have a backpack or a pocket full of electrical wire. This is the Yagami Detective Agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex-Yakuza named Kaito. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda Sensei. It's not like we don't have oh, the technology. There's the drone. But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. there's anything in the fridge oh man that was like the best thing and we got here a sega master system oh shit select game oh shoot alex the kid in miracle world Circles the punch. Why can't I hit this? There we go. That thing. Ah. I mean, what exactly am I supposed to do in this game? <laughs> oh shit! Is this kid is versatile? Ah, oh, shit. Everything was going so smooth. Then I died. How's my score zero? You saw all the fat loot I got. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Uh, what would that be considered? City missions? I have to do skateboarding? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, restaurants, alcohol, taxis, fighting a lot of shit, breaking a lot of shit, fighting people a certain way. Mini games? Is that considered a mini game? Okay. Okay. Play one game. Play three games. Five, eight. Okay. So I just have to play. I don't actually have to get nine million. Oh my god. I got to walk dogs. Got to play with cats. But who doesn't like playing with cats? Okay. I don't know what this other one is. Let me see something here. Like the batting... Oh, wait, wrong one. Oh, my God. This is like... This is why these take hundreds of hours. There's so much shit. Okay. Let's, let's get to work. Yes, we can finally take a breather. Weren't you supposed to call Sugiura? I was, wasn't I? Crazy how he ended up in our line of work. After seeing us in action, who could blame him? Yeah. 
Yagami-san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh, yeah. Listen, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. And if we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh, yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Then, should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow, if you can swing it. We're based in Ijincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, you free on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. If I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Uh, sorry, Sugira. Yeah, tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great. Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. <laughs> See you guys soon, then. Sugiura said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. Yokohama 99's cross streets. Aww, it's not even close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Sukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? Well, I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. Look at us acting all touristy. Dun, 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 dun. Let's hit it. 
Well, apparently they have thugs here too because I can see the uh, red. street. Ooh, a prize medal. Why does he wear soccer mom shoes? That's not what I saw. Where'd you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off. Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough. Stop. Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? Whoa. Hey. What gives? You just kicked my sight over. Ah, that was the wind, man. Big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you, put that down. <laughs> Come on. Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pox. You goddamn brats! I got that one. He called us goddamn brats. You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no. I just don't want you loitering in front of my store. That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers. <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Parents buy it for you. Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down. You must be saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? <clears throat> Let me see. Hey, give me my phone back. You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. <laughs> So I'm about to beat up high school kids. Is that what we're going with this? I'm about to beat up high school kids. What am I like fucking 30? Gonna beat up some high school kids? Snake style focus on swift flowing strikes and counterattacks. It works especially well against those carrying weapons. Okay. Merciful. Gotta teach these punks a lesson. This is a serious fight. Listen to some crappy dubstep. Oh, I got a guard. Sorry. to get him to attack you. There we go. Now I can beat the shit out of high school kids. Let's 
stinks like a bitch! For fuck's sake, these guys are monsters! Yo, <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you've been training at a secret dojo or something. Eh, uh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here. This came from one of those kids. Your call what to do with it. <sighs> you really didn't have to. But thank you. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learn some manners the hard way in Kamrocho. Well. We've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomon gangsters. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Hmm. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. But anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. I take it you're not from around here? Yeah. Might end up staying. For a while at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Ooh, wristbands. Wearing gear can help bolster your defense, mitigate status ailments, enhance exploration, and more. Gear can be obtained from shops, mini games, and certain side cases. So take a look around town and see what you can find. Open the items tab. Oh, this is exciting. I don't need to read all this. I think I can manage this. I feel like we need to equip this right away. Gear. Inner accessory. Attack plus three percent. Three percent attack. I want to go pick a fight now. <laughs> Just to see if I can feel this three percent more attack. Wait, where do I get in this building at? Where do I get in this building at? Where do I get in this building? Oh. The cutscene will guide me. Yokohama 99. Yep, that's the place. Wow. Not too shabby, guys. Oh, wait. Here, hold on. Let me try out my plus 3% attack. Guys, hey, guys. Guys, I got 3% attack. so powerful. Never thought 3% could be so amazing. Well, he cannot do a tight turn. There we go. Ooh, a small screw. How did he spot? Because it's because he's a detective, isn't it? What's going on here? No normal person would have saw the small screw, but he's a detective, so we spotted the small screw, no problem. Gentlemen, welcome. How are you? <laughs> this guy. First, he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. Quick as a thief. 
Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say beef isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. The place is nice, though. It's kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. <laughs> For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Just roll with it. Give him a chance. All the detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. To sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Ryumang. They're a gang, right? Yeah, the Yokohama Liu, whatever. Bet they're stirring up shit as we speak. Actually, we haven't run into any gang-related activity at all. No, what we're dealing with isn't so conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. They'll also want to hold the schools accountable. But none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. This leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent mix of impulses often manifests as bullying. Yeah, I call that puberty. But that would apply specifically to boys, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls, it's more likely rooted in oxytocin, a brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See, oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. And then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? Ancient matriarchs were particularly vulnerable during childbirth, thus requiring communal support. So you could kind of say the survival and reproduction of our species was largely oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice. A necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. All over the world, no matter where or when. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. tsukumo -kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense.
Here's another fun fact while we're at it. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine, triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. How big is this school? Uh, let's see, there are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyoshi and I couldn't possibly bet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? We could use the help. Man. <laughs> For a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. The restaurant's name is Kyoinro. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs>